Kicir kicir, can you hear it playing? The old song that comes from DKI Jakarta. I am here singing, yes sir, hear me out singing. To clear away, clear away all your misery. Hello everyone, I am Mutia Nur Sabrina. You can call me M. I am a student of Sumbang Si Senior High School located in South Jakarta. Now, I want to ask you some questions. What do you know about the song that I sang earlier? Mm -hmm. It is indeed a popular song from DKI Jakarta called Kicir Kicir. Now, what do you know about Jakarta? Mm -mm. Jakarta is the capital city of Indonesia. Jakarta has so much history. One of them is Sipito. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to sit tight and pay attention to me and make yourself comfortable because the show is about to start. This is the story of Sipito. Sipito was born in a village called Rawa Belong. His father, Abah Piun, and his mother, Nyak Pinah, they were a happy family. Si Pitung, when he became a teenager, he was sent by his father into an Islamic boarding school. And he was a great student because he was able to understand any lesson quickly. He was good at reading Quran, he was good at pencak silat, he was good at everything. And that made Haji Naipin, his teacher, was very proud of him. After years and years being taught by Haji Naipin, it came finally the time where Si Pitung can go back home to Rawa Belong. And now it has been a week since Si Pitung got back to Rawa Belong. He was happy to be back again with his family. On one fine day, suddenly his father told him to go sell two goats into the market because he wasn't feeling well that day. Ah, Pitu, can you help me by selling these two goats, please, at the market? <coughs> I don't feel good today. Okay, father. Leave it to me. I will take care of it. So, he sold those two goats at the market. After selling them, he walked back home. But in the middle of his way back, Suddenly, there were three bandits blocking his way. Hey, stop. Stop it right there. What is your name, little boy? I am Sipitu. What do you want from me? Um, not much. I want to know where do you come from? I come from Rawa Belong. But without realizing, one of the bandits took his money. Sipitu didn't realize anything. When arriving at home, his father was already waiting at the front. But suddenly, when he checked his pocket, the money wasn't there anymore. <gasps> father, I think I just got big pocket by those guys before. I need to find them first. And he found them. They were still at the place that they were before. But those bandits didn't want to admit their doings. Eventually, Si Pitung fought them using his pencak silat technique. Those bandits lost immediately. The next day, Si Pitung got approached again by those three bandits. Oh, Pitung, no, Pitung, we apologize for what we did. We didn't mean to do that. Please forgive us. Tell me your name first. I am Ra'is. This is GE and this is Jibum, my friends. It's all right. I forgave you. Thank you, Bang Bitung. But we wanted to ask for your teamwork, Bang Bitung. The teamwork where you join us and then we can steal at the local markets together. <gasps> Masha Allah. You guys have crossed the line. Your victims are also poor. Why don't you help them instead of stealing from them? <laughs> Stop it right there. <laughs> Our life is also miserable. Why do you expect for us to help them? Suddenly. 
Si Pitong told them to get closer. Come here. Si Pitong whispered something to them. Hmm. All right, Pampitong. We have an agreement as long as you're the one leading us. Days after that meeting, Si Pitong and those three friends of his started stealing properties from the Dutch's place. But it wasn't for them. They gave it to the poor people instead. It has been months since they have been doing that. Now they became the most wanted criminal by the Dutch's army. One day, when the army was finding for them, they found Jabul's hiding place first. They aimed at him and immediately shot him. Jabul didn't survive the shot. Same thing happened to Rais and GE. Pitung lost three friends of his. When the army finally found Si Pitung, they had no idea about Si Pitung's technique. He can become bulletproof. Not even a single bullet touched his body. But days after that, the army found out about Si Pitung's weakness. They know that Si Pitung can be defeated if they make golden bullets. Yes, bullets made from gold. Until one day, Si Pitung told them this. I am not afraid. Tell your commander I am not afraid. I am Si Pitung from Rawablong. As long as you guys are still here, I won't stop giving you lessons. And then the army aimed him from behind. gold bullet striked through his heart and the struggle of Sipitung ended there when he got shot by the golden bullet. The people of Jakarta still remember his fight along together with his three friends. Now the house of Sipitung is operating as a museum in memorial of his death. Sipitong was buried somewhere in Rawabelong and it still remains there until now. It was the whole story of Sipitong, the bravest hero of DKI Jakarta. That was all for me. I hope you enjoyed it. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.